Hello everybody, just Nikki here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be playing, uh, some, uh, create a sim. Or, <laughs> we're gonna be playing some create a sim, wow. Uh, we're gonna be playing Sims 4, but what I'm doing here is I am creating a sim. And there will be a crap ton of sim cc's and all that stuff. Um, so, um, there will be a list of the CCs that I'm going to be using, and, um, yeah, so, let's just jump into this, so, I don't know what that was, but okay. Um, so, basically what I'm doing here is I am making specific sims for a little, um, ideal I have after I'm done with them. So basically there's going to be about four or five sims, female sims, and I'm going to make them all and I'm going to give them all opposite opposing traits um, and you know different you know traits and everything like that. And I want to see how well these different, clearly different sims mesh well um, in the same household. So basically I'm going to be a video of me making each sim and then a separate video of me making the house for the sims for the, for the sims and then after that I'm going to do a video of me actually playing through the game with the sims. So right now I'm making my first female sim and I wanted her to be African-American um, they're also going to be very diverse, different races and things, it's not just going to be the same race. Um, I don't really know what I was thinking with this sim. I, I really like making sims where, you know, they have a nice jaw structure and a cute little chin and a cute little nose. Like, that's always what I do. So, me creating these different types of races and sims and things is going to gonna kind of push me away from doing the same type of uh, sim that I always do. Um, like this one is exactly what I do on most of all my sims. She has a nice contour, she has nice cheekbones, cute little chin, and a cute little nose, you know? And so, um, yeah, I, I, I just wanted to keep her simple looking, like kind of grungy looking. You know, close to my my preference of a style, I guess. So I'm just picking the outfit here. I think that's the hardest part past making, you know, picking their makeup and anything. Um, I don't really have a lot of CCs as most people. Um, most of these CCs, like I just got the day before. Um, like, I, I didn't have this many, but, um, I was definitely, definitely having fun mashing these different outfits and things together. Um, The Sims resource has, like, a not, a lot of nice, good clothing and makeup. I don't know any other sites besides, uh, The Sims resource to get CCs from, but... I mean, I guess if somebody stumbles across my video and you guys know, uh, let me know in the comments, I guess. I love these pants. And I love that shirt. I love that you can, like, the shirt becomes tucked in. Um, those, those types of pants had, like, so many different patterns. Like, you saw I shuffled through. Oh, so cute. And here I am just picking through now this was kind of the hard part which was picking her uh, her aspiration you know like what like what is she gonna be and I decided because I you know I usually go for either creative or you know uh, uh, foodie or you know love or something like that so I decided to just go completely out of the box and just go athletic um, even though you're gonna see me shuffle through like a lot of stuff here. Actually, I'm gonna go through each one, uh, because I wanted to make sure that's what I wanted. But, uh, yeah, I love how this one came out, like, she 
she's so beautiful and her hair is adorable. Um, I don't know how I feel about those baby hairs though. I don't know about that one. Hmm. I might change that later. But I did want her to have like some sort of swoopy baby hair sort of thing going on. Um, because I have baby hairs and I never use them because they don't really fit with many hairstyles and this happened to be one of the hairstyles that it fits with so I decided to keep it. I thought it looked okay. Now here I am choosing the um, traits and everything. Like what's her personality gonna be like? Um, obviously I, the, the main one I had to settle for was athletic. And then the last two were the kind of confusing ones, um, because there's a lot to there's a there's a lot to choose from. And if I want the Sims to, because you know my intentions are, I hope they all hate each other and fight each other, and it'd be like some sort of bad girls club Sims and <laughs> Sims style or something. I don't, I don't even know, but, um, yeah, just picking the traits and everything was, was kind of fun, but I, I settled on so Alright, so her traits are active. She's active because she's athletic. I thought that was cute. I had to choose. Um, she's a foodie and she's very ambitious. So this type of sim isn't, you know, she doesn't. She's obviously doesn't have the type of traits that would let you know that, you know, she's mean or she's super shy or something like that. Um, so I, I, obviously this type of sim is probably going to be the um, more level-headed type of sim for of the household, but. Um, yeah, so I freaking love how this sim came out, and I named her Kiosha Reed, so that will be her name, and she is the first woman to be put in the Sims, uh, I don't know, reality house, I don't even know what I'm gonna freaking call it, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like, um, if you like my channel and you happen to stumble across and find it, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.